random, random, random. Um, I, I just got this watch. I just got it at the outlets, and I'm, I really love it. Uh, and my hair, decidedly not naturally this color, but has been this color for a long time, but naturally, no. Uh, that red sign that you see in the corner, it says rent. If you could see the whole thing, you would know that it says rent, and we found it in a junkyard in Lincoln, Nebraska. Those are all really random. My name is Emily Danforth, and I'm a proud apocalypsy, and also the author of the novel The Miseducation of Cameron Post, which looks like this. I have a prop. I have lots of props today. Um, fan of the props. It's a novel told from Cam's perspective, from the essentially the, the age of 12 to 15, um, and, and probably most importantly, you should know that on the day that both of her parents die tragically, leaving her an orphan, um, is the same day that, that she kisses a girl, her friend Irene Clausen, up in a hayloft for the first time. And so those two events are always inextricably linked in her mind. Uh, and for the next several years, you follow Cam as she tries to figure things out, things about fate and religion and her place in the world um, in a very confusing world. And the other thing you should know is it takes place in the 1990s, which was when my adolescence was, and I would like to believe it was yesterday, but in fact was 20 years ago, two decades. And now that I feel old, after I sold my novel, my mother sent me this photo. This is me. There's a little bit of a glare. And um, I can, you can see I have a book in my lap. I'm also, I also have the signature, uh, this would be the Ramona Quimby uh, age eight a curl, front curl, although I was certainly not eight. I was, you know, probably three or four. And I'm reading The Pokey Little Puppy and the glare might be preventing it, but it's made to look as though I'm, I'm doing this in a frilly dress in a meadow. I'm sure most of you like to take books, you know, in your frilliest dresses to the meadow to read them with your single curl. So I'm sharing it with you, a glimpse into my very, very early beginnings as a writer in my frilly dress with my single curl and the pokey little puppy.